Hello and welcome to my channel. Go ahead, hit the like, hit the share, subscribe if you haven't already. Did y'all see this latest breaking news? <laughs> These people are becoming too predictable. As expected, Barry Hankerson comes with his announcement, but I guess he didn't expect Aaliyah's estate to come back with the comeback and release a statement in response to the tactics he's using to promote both Aaliyah's music on the side and his little janky ass record label. You know the difference between now and the 90s? You can't just come out here with some bull crap. You're going to have to keep coming and keep coming and keep coming and that's what we see. These people just keep coming and keep coming and keep coming with all these distractions to keep avoiding from the real topics at hand. Since they want to keep bringing up this woman and won't let her rest at peace. Her estate is in a real battle with this janky ass uncle of hers that some people in the industry want to put on a pedestal while condemning another individual he has so gracefully threw under the bus. In my opinion, according to this report by Variety, it says battle between Aliyah's estate and former manager breaks into the open. A long running battle between the estate of the late R&B singer Aliyah and her uncle, former manager and label chief Barry Hankerson broke into the open on Wednesday after teasers about forthcoming music were posted online. Hmm. Aaliyah, a former R. Kelly protege, was briefly married to him at the age of 15 in a quickly annulled ceremony, died in a 2001 plane crash when she was just 22. She is arguably the most popular and prominent artist whose most successful recordings are not available on streaming services, apparently due to a conflict between Hankerson and the estate that has gone on the four better part of two decades. For 20 years, we have battled behind the scenes, enduring shadowy tactics of deception. The estate's statement reads, now this unscrupulous endeavor to release Aliyah's music without transparency or fuel counting to the estates compels our hearts to express a word forgiveness, but pledges to continue to defend ourselves and her legacy lawfully. Now for those of you who don't know, that person that I believe to be speaking on behalf of Aliyah's estate would be her brother. Now. As I have mentioned many times before, Barry Hankerson, he doesn't mind this. Any publicity is good publicity tactics. So let's keep in mind he has his whole sketchy history, all the allegations about him, all the Rico type transactions he had going through his whole career, and not to mention the fact that Pretty much every artist he's ever managed has had the same issue with their publishing have all came to the same conclusion. Yet, you see these people trying not to call him out. Like I've always said, when people start publicly calling people out, I feel like it's to back an agenda because as we see with situations like this they have no problems doing things behind the scenes and according to what I just said if they have been battling with this man for 20 years at what point would anybody would come and say common sense say you know what forget this we're going to court Yet then you have all these allegations coming out about how this lady's parents allowed this and allowed that and they were engaging in this and all this other bull crap. And that gives some people the impression that maybe he has some type of leverage over them, which is why they're not speaking out. At the end of the day, we may never get to the bottom of the real conflict but I think the fact that this man tried to sue and claim this lady as an asset after her death, never mind her parents grieving and all that comes with losing a child, this man shows he's all about the dollar. Now, I believe 
what he plans on doing because of all his double dealing tactics he intended to have Aliyah's music possibly remastered that way it won't be under the contracts he may have signed with her music with that being said that is what I am getting from the statement that was released and how it was worded the statement was a response to a social media post from Blackground 2.0's records derived from the name of Hankerson's original label promising Aaliyah is coming. The social media accounts were launched last month. Hankerson has been attempting to release a 2012 album of rare Aaliyah music, which was executively produced by Drake for many years. The estate has been largely silenced since the singer's death in 2001 and, v and few details have emerged about the exact nature of the points of contention that have prevented her final and most successful albums from appearing on streaming services. However, in recent months, social media posts from both the estate and Blackground 2.0 have an optimistic tone said they were working to resolve the situation. So, if people remember a statement that I shown, it clearly indicated that this state was, as usual, trying to work out something with this man because he's put out here publicly, Aaliyah's music is coming, but a lot of people don't want to deal with this music without her parents' approval. So then when I had audio of people like DJ Quick talking about Barry Hankerson sent him some of uh, Aaliyah's unreleased music, that signaled to me what we're seeing play out. But anyways, I'll put this article in the link so you can read it for yourself. But are we a little bit surprised to see what's going on? <laughs> I'm not. Make sure you like this video, share it, subscribe if you haven't already. Drop your comments below. The only thing I have left is my voice. And now I have to use it for my protection. Because they left me no choice. See, my work has nothing to do with my private life. So stay the fuck out of my business and tend to your own damn life. So go ahead, say what you wanna say. I'm about who I wanna date. But you won't say that shit to my face. Cause you know it ain't shit to say. Next nigga, bring me some dumb shit. It's gonna be a misunderstanding. Cause niggas that listen to dumb shit are niggas that be on that dumb shit. They need a light cause they ain't got no life. So they always caught you in a dumb shit. Blocking my path, they don't know the half. It's all they make an assumption. Since when do assumptions? Just a quick reminder, make sure you go and check out my site, www.pdpastries, for all your pastry needs. I do ship, and you can send your payments through Cash App. All contributions to my food truck is always open. Cookie, cookie, I'm a cookie monster. Break your back, crack it open like a lobster. 